Hey everybody, welcome back to the next episode of Blue Plays Diablo 3. I'm gonna do what I said I was gonna do, and I'm gonna hunt me down and kill me a skeleton king. Just like the Quakers would have done. Hey! You stay dead. No. No. No! I don't like you. I love doing that. I don't know why. It just it makes me happy. Keep your distance from him. This burden is mine to bear. May death bring peace from your madness, Leoric. Traitors! Even in death, the armies of Condorus will still obey their king. Even if you will not. Well then. Yeah, that was the king that I'm off to go kill. I, I love... I love it because this is what this is my intro. I was a little off, like I never de downloaded my Diablo 3 copy because I was always kind of like off-putted or put off by the game series. I was like, it doesn't really sound like something I might be interested in. First part of the game involves the undead, skeletons, ghosts, and everything like that. Immediately drew me in. We shall put you down, Hellspawn! Literally, the m the just the fact that it's ta it's involving all of my favorite type of things, like all the un all the undeads, the ghosts, and everything like that. I am a sucker for stuff like this, and this is handling it beautifully. So that's why I immediately got sucked into this game's craze. Boom! Level 13, which means this gets to become... Glacial Spike. Jerk! Alright, I also got a new thing. Evocation reduces all cooldowns by 20%. Not needed. This is going to become Glacial Spike. So now, I have this. Which is a little bit slower, but has the chance of freezing things. Has a decent chance of freezing things, I should say. Get out of here! Jerks! So yeah, Glacial Spike is just another way I keep things frozen during the fights. I go- I went complete Frost Mage in this game. 100% ice abilities, nothing else really except for this. And my familiar that I use, because I do use the familiar, is not an ice familiar. But I do use the ice shield. You will never defeat me. <laughs> you were defeated the moment you surrendered to madness. Oh, snap, you got him there, Cormac. I can't believe you said that to him. He used to be a king, don't you know? Die! Everyone die. Except for me and Cormac. Me and Cormac can live because we're awesome. You guys are all nerds. Can I poke him in the face with this? Look it. There's a Skeleton Man King right there. Why did he die on the throne? Why did they put him on the throne when he was killed? Why not just like throw him off the cliff? Save everyone some time here in the future. Not expecting this fight will be too difficult because I have two freezy abilities and my ice lasers. Come on, guy. Come on, guy. Yank. Frozen. Frozen again. If only I had my shield that freezes things on impact. So that when they hit me, it freezes them. Die, Skelly Man King! I'm gonna keep throwing stuff at you. I keep forgetting, I should probably stop him when he's doing the casting so it keeps him a little bit longer.
die! This is actually a pretty easy boss fight to do. I've st I stopped him again! Yeah! You jerk! Let's see if I can't defeat him without him summoning more. Nope! Ah, it didn't work. He got those last ones out. Ah, well. Oh, just... Ba-boom! <laughs> oh, I killed him before it hit him. I was trying to kill him with the explosion. He's died! The Tartarum High Priests in Karast proclaimed Leoric King of Condurus many years ago. He ruled well until Diablo's influence drove him mad, and the loyal knight Lach Danon was forced to slay him. Afterward, Diablo himself raised Leoric from the dead as the Skeleton King, until the monarch's son, Aiden, vanquished him. That's right, his son killed him. I have a book now. That's one of my favorite items to hold, is just the floating book. Finally, the crater. I actually want to find out if there are legendary versions of the floating book, because the only one I have for transmog looks kind of dull. It was you that fell from the sky? I don't believe that you are the source of the evil in this place. I am. I... It was... I... I remember falling. Then who are you? Why are you here? I am not your enemy. I think... Yes, I... I believe I have come with a warning. The darkness... The darkness is coming. I must... I don't remember. I should bring you back to town. Cain will know what to do with you. Let us take this man to Cain, this poor guy who fell through the sky and landed on the floor, breaking through the places. Let's go! I have traveled far, only to find that the fallen star was a man. Who is he? Why has he come? He recalls nothing. But Cain may have the answers. Let's show him to Cain and see if Cain knows anything. Oh, wait a minute. I have to check something real quick on my cheese mints. Conversations. Everybody loves Shen. The only one I need left is the stranger. I think I can use that right now. I think I can go talk to Shen right now. The Shen is the jeweler guy, jewel guy. And, uh... I only have one more conversation piece with him that I haven't gotten that will give me the achievement. Is this it? Ah, very no. <laughs> nope. Any more? Nope, nothing yet. Maybe it's after. I will have to check him again because I, I'm at this moment and I'm like, oh, this would be a perfect opportunity for me to just pick up that little piece of dialogue between him and me. Uh, all right. This is what fell out of the sky. No man could survive such a thing. Who are you? What are you? A warrior, I think. I came bearing grave news, but I cannot remember. Your message might be all that can save us from impending doom. Yay, impending doom. Yay! All right, I should actually sell some of the stuff because I'm not really needing any of it. Some brand new goods you might be interested. In. Um, actually, none of this is actually valuable, really. <laughs> Nothing's gonna get me that much gold, so I'm just gonna salvage it all and use it for materials and crafting. It's only the higher level stuff that actually makes a big difference in my money now because the higher level stuff sells for about like five thousand around that around the five thousand uh, gold ballpark. Oh, I forgot. I found some more health potions on another character that I wanted to give to this one. Can I go talk to him now? 
I apologize for this, but I really, really want that achievement. I've been hunting achievements all day. I am one of those people who will hunt down all the achievements. I did it in World of Warcraft, and I'll do it here, too. Nope, not yet. <sighs> of course, I, have some new items that I'm I know it's probably around this part of the game, too, because we just brought the Tell guy back. everything you remember, stranger. Every detail. Falling. Fire. A sword of great power. It was part of me. But it shattered into three pieces as I fell. It is vital that we find those pieces. I believe the sword made whole will restore your memory. The goatmen are rampaging through the fields. Could the sword have anything to do with that? Of course, of course! Just as the dead rose around the stranger, the sword pieces drove the goatmen to madness. The goatmen won't stand in my way. I'll get the sword. See, they say goatmen, and people will probably think like, oh, like mythological type goatman person thing. I think Goatman as in, oh, like the sheep people from Catherine. Yeah. He's got new dialogue. Is this it? Fallen star. Oh. It's not it. What about the stranger? Talk to me about the stranger. <sighs> Whatever. I gotta go to the fields of misery. Meet my friend of misery. But first things first, I'm gonna go shopping. I suppose business will pick up now that the Skeleton King is dead. Oh, yes. Oh, you're so sorry. Nope, none of those are good for me. What about uh, that might... How much is it? Point oh zero. No, that's not much at all. Sorry, I'm doing number crunching, and nothing here is good for me. So, onward with the quest. You. Yeah. Go to the Fields of Misery. The dead fester in their wickedness. Yes, yes they do, Cormac. This is random of you to say, but sure. Yes, the fields of misery is the first like not completely filled with dead things place that you go to in Diablo 3. It. It's filled with big guys like that. I'm just gonna run right past them all. Cause I know where I need to go. Oh, no. Trip! Ah, oh, it didn't work. I was trying to trip those logs on him. I know whereabouts I need to go. It's a place called the Khazra Den. And I've been hunting around in these fields because I am so close to having every achievement for this first part of this campaign, this act of the campaign uh, finished. There's only a few places I need to explore that randomly appear in this this field right here. So I know generally where almost everything is in this place now. However, it does switch around, so there are chances that I do head in the wrong direction. Because it's not where it usually is. Hmm. I am tired. This might just be have to be the last video I do for the night. It's only 11.30. Why am I so tired already? I haven't been sleeping well. Maybe that's why. Scavenger's Den. Oh my... Oh, that also being said, if I'm looking around for the place that I was looking for earlier, right now, and I find it, I'm going in there, so there might be an additional dungeon here in this playthrough. <laughs> ah! Look at all the hordes chasing after me. I am the most wanted girl in the whole planet. Surprised I haven't even found the waypoint. Should be right around here ish. Unless it's at the lower spot, like at some. There it is! Found the waypoint. These brutes to shreds! No, Cormac, that just sounds harsh. I think Khazra Den is one of the places that will. Uh, always be here. Because a lot of places, like dungeons and whatnot, that. You cannot find everything in just one straight playthrough of this game. You will have to replay places if you want to find everything. Because dungeons won't be here that will be the next time you come through. That's how the game works. It's kind of like randomly generated. Although they are the specific dungeons, so it's not completely random. Whereabouts am I? Alright, so I should head this way. 
Trust me, I know what I'm doing. May not look like it or sound like it, but don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Dialogue. Dialogue. <laughs> That's so funny. Touch the well. I touch every single healing well that I come across because there's an achievement. Yep, yep, another achievement. There's an achievement for using 1,000 of them. I think right now I'm at like 400 some odd. Alright, Khazradan, you should be showing your face somewhere time soon because it's getting a bit close. Are you up here for some reason? Because if so, that's weird. It's never been up here. Nah, nah, it's not up here, because up here's where that guy is. So it must be down either in the middle down there, which likely, considering there's a big empty space there, or further down to the west. I'll leave that treasure chest. Don't need it! Thinking it's probably down here-ish. Because this... A lot of no, ah, that's weird. Just wanted to hit them. Boink. It's a lot of empty space for some reason. This is actually pretty rare. I never get it where it's like this much nothingness. That's where it is. It's right there. Nope, that's the decaying crypts. What the heck? Did it not spawn? Did if it didn't spawn the Khazra Den this time around? That is literally going to be a first ever for me. Which, well, it's taken me by surprise if it hasn't, but it likely has. I just haven't gone to the exact spot that it needs me to. Yep, there it is. <laughs> right at the bottom. I walked right past it. <laughs> oh, me. Find the glowing, sh glowing sword sward in the cave. Good talking. Good talking. I do good. I do good with words. Kill her. No. I will not kill her. You will die. No, 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 no. You will die. Freeze. Stop. This sword piece glows with the stranger's magic. Who are you to take yours? I believe you are mistaken. Regardless, I have claimed it. I am Magda, and I lead this coven. The shard is mine. To hell with you, witch! Very well. Let the games begin. Well then. For some reason, I skipped that first little bit of dialogue. But, yeah, that is Magda. She is a cult leader of these peoples who are all from the cult. Well fought. But you will never possess the next piece. It has fallen where only the ancients may tread. She is more devious than she appears. I actually saw a picture of a Magda cosplay, and it was so gosh darn cool. I need to go back. Alright. Yep, once again I'm gonna run down there and see if he has the um the dialogue for me. I really, really, really would like that. Nope, he doesn't. <sighs> I'm actually going to end up having to cut this one short because I am finding myself very, very tired right now for some reason, which doesn't happen typically at 11.44. It's good that it's happening because I've had a horrible case of insomnia. The sword. I had to take the first piece from a witch named Magda and her crazed minions. Uncle Deckard, you sound like those dark cultists you told me about. Very good, Leah. You have been paying attention. Stranger, does any of this jar your memory? I have no memory of this coven, but I sense a far darker shadow guiding its hand. Yay, I got a hat. Doesn't give me much bonuses. Yes, 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 I'm going to end this episode running down again to check on him because that guy... I don't want to talk to him anymore, he's kind of weird. I love him, but he's kind of weird. No, he doesn't. Alright then, in that case, 
I'm going to call it a night for right now. This video is likely going to be short. Unfortunately, I haven't been keeping track of the time. It's likely going to be a lot shorter than my typical videos. Let's see, are there any books in here that I can go get real quick? Give myself a little extra, extra experience points and try and level up. Leia's book. Yeah! That's the way we do it. Ice armor. I wish yes, I could yes, say this yes. was another of Uncle's crazy theories, but I can't deny that these ominous events are starting to really scare me. Not ready yet. I love the ice armor. Alright, and that is going to be all for this one. I will see you all in the next video. If you liked this one and want to see a little bit more of them, give me a like, throw me a comment, share it with your friends if you feel like it. I'm going to go to bed. So until next time, peace out. <laughs> one coming out this spring, and I don't know how to describe it. The main character, whose name I was never clear on, is just a shoving guy who has spent years inside his house, not even...